Welcome everyone. This is David Nunez. I'm the interim head of school at Great River this school year. And I am presenting today on the student wellness and equity coordinator role at Great River. First of all, a quick apology. I presented this presentation to a group of parents and staff um, at a presentation last week and tried to record that presentation and the recording did not work for technical reasons. And so I am re-recording the presentation to share with the community at large, but you won't be able to hear the actual feedback of the parents and staff who were at the listening session. Um, so I apologize about that, um, but I'm gonna move forward with the presentation so that if you were unable to attend that session, you can hear what this uh, leadership's proposal is for this role moving forward and potentially offer me feedback uh, electronically, which I'll talk about a little later in the presentation. The student wellness and equity coordinator role is a position at Great River that um, has been um, uh, and continues to be a priority of the leadership team, of the staff, of the board. Um, but we are thinking about some changes to the role. Um, and I wanna start by talking about sort of what the role is to give you all context. The current student wellness and equity coordinator role and job description says, this position creates plans, writes lessons, coordinates programs across grades one through 12, the Student Wellness and Equity Coordinator works directly with students and collaborates with teachers and leaders. The work of the SWEC addresses student wellness and community building in the following areas, equity and accessibility of the educational environment, healthy relationship practices and social emotional learning, and health and sexuality education. Now that's kind of the overview, the 10,000 foot view of what the job does, but what does that actually mean in terms of responsibilities? The essential duties of the existing position include teaching and mentoring students about equity and accessibility, healthy relationship practices and health and sexuality education at all the age groups here at Great River, collaborating with guides on delivering lessons that give students the foundation to understand equity, accessibility and wellness, guest teaching lessons for students on equity and wellness topics, holding and planning space for BIPOC student affinity groups throughout the year and LGBTQ plus student affinity events throughout the year, quarterly summaries to the leadership team, I believe that means, on equity and wellness programs impact on student experience, meetings and integration to, uh, st to structures for communication. So uh, meeting regularly with student support team and meeting as needed with the Dean of Students who is the supervisor of the SWEC role. Bi-monthly um, attendance and program director meetings and on program and curriculum planning and participating monthly in meetings with program managers, <coughs> excuse me, and communicating and planning regarding student events and programs. So to sum up, the SWEC held space in the SWEC room for students and the SWEC ran BIPOC affinity groups and LGBTQ plus affinity groups. The SWEC collaborated with guides on curriculum. The SWEC taught and co-taught health classes at the school. The SWEC guest taught lessons in classrooms. The SWEC coordinated events like iRACE, which didn't happen this year, but has happened previously. And the SWEC advocates for students and all of this across 12 grades and 770 students. Now the leadership team has done quite a bit of reflecting on this role and what all of these different um, essential duties amount to over the course of a school year. Um, and really, um, if you did not know, to be completely transparent, we have had um, a recent resignation from this role and we had a previous resignation from this role. And so we're concerned about the job description itself and we want to revisit it. And part of revisiting it is um, realigning with our goal and mission and our needs as a school and also taking a look at the um, breadth and uh, 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 wide variety of responsibilities that is expected of this role. So in brainstorming, the leadership team would like to alter the size and expectations of the role. We really want to set everybody up for success who might fill this role in the future. We want the role to focus on fewer things, allowing for greater success. 
We want to empower a role like this to be a leader across the building. We think that we need, as a school, someone in the, um, at, the at a leadership level in the school who is responsible for doing this work and holding us accountable to this work as a staff. We want someone who would support staff development to have a wider impact. And we want to have Great River take the next steps in fulfilling equity promises that we've made over the years. So those are our priorities as a leadership team. What that means is really pretty severely, uh, maybe not severely is the word, but pretty um, drastically changing the role into something different and still making sure that all the aspects of the role are filled and the needs are filled in some way across the building. So what we're proposing is a slightly, is a, is a, is a not slightly, is a very distinctly different role called Equity and Inclusion Coordinator. And in our proposal, uh, we've described it as the Equity and Inclusion Coordinator will collaborate with the head of school and the school leadership team to support GRS's mission and vision in the areas of equity. So they would build authentic relationships with staff, student, and families. They would be culturally responsive, relevant, and inclusive. They would build our capacity for social emotional learning with behavioral restorative practices to develop positive learning behavior and growth mindset. And they would support staff to create empowered critical thinkers who are socially responsible. Again, a 10,000 sort of foot, a 10,000 foot view of what this position might look like. What's the nitty gritty though? What are the actual um, job expectations? The essential duties of the equity and inclusion coordinator would be number one, to serve as a permanent member of the school's leadership team. This is not something that the SWEC has done in the past, and this is something that I feel pretty strongly about at the school's leadership level, that we give this role the authority to help hold the school accountable to our equity goals and to fulfilling the, you know, true mission and vision of what we want to do here at Great River. Um, also, we talk quite a bit about guide coaching. So how can this role be specifically responsible for helping guides in the building? We have originally envisioned this as being a non-evaluative position, so not that the person would be coming in and doing formal reviews, that falls on the program director to do, but that this person would be coaching staff into um, improving and into growing and into walking further down that pathway towards more equitable practices. Now, this was something that uh, I want to be completely transparent about. At the parent meeting last week when I brought this up, it was a more controversial point um, on this list of points. Um, there were people in the group that felt like it should be a evaluative position uh, uh, in order to hold teachers specifically more accountable to equity goals and practices. So this is still open to discussion, certainly, as we move forward. Also, we'd like this role to coordinate equity-minded professional development for staff. Now, we've been doing equity-minded professional development here at Great River for years. And it would be really helpful to have somebody with a lot of experience um, coordinating that staff development, potentially even um, uh, facilitating that staff development, but specifically coordinating what it looks like moving forward at the school. We'd like someone to help with curriculum development, and we'd like someone to help coordinate events related to equity for the school. Now, these things are, in my mind, roughly listed in order of importance, although that's hard to say, too. I feel like, for example, the, the having this role serve as a permanent member of the school's leadership team is very essential. Coordinating events related to equity for the school is essential and important. I don't want to diminish the importance of that aspect of the job, but we want to start by really thinking about serving as a member of the leadership team coaching guides, and working on professional development for staff. And we also don't want to set up another position that is still too big. So how do we prioritize? There's also duties that are not covered, SWEC duties that uh, this role will not particularly have. And so how do we want to cover those roles? Teaching health, for instance, 
felt like an aspect of the job that although connected to the work in many ways and offering the person a lot of opportunity to be in classrooms and working directly with students um, made the made the 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 job just too um, too big honestly and so we'll be posting a part-time health teacher most likely or incorporating it in the schedule into the assignments of existing staff but most likely we'll be looking for a licensed part-time health teacher to teach our health courses 7, 8, 9, and 10 in particular, but potentially also in the elementary school as well. Another aspect that is not included in the job description is holding space in the student wellness and equity coordinator room. Um, this has been happening this year after uh, the resignation of our last SWEC. Um, this has continued to happen by stipending uh, existing staff to support students in that space. And so the goal would be to either continue to stipend staff to help support that space or possibly have the space also uh, facilitated by UA students setting up norms and expectations and being very clear about the purpose and uh, 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 the purpose and use of the space, um, but also allowing students to really own that space in a lot of ways. The facilitation of affinity groups would also be stipended work for current staff. So we have a number of current staff, Anu, Tia, Alexis, um, we have a, uh, Tina, we have a number of current staff who are currently facilitating affinity groups in the building. Um, and we'd like to continue to support those staff to do that. And because it's additional work, we wanna pay them to do that work. So it would fall under like stipended work in addition to their salary. Lastly, advocating for students. So this role, as it might change, were we to move forward with this proposal, would not be a very student-facing role as our current role is. It would be a very coordinating role. It would be um, very much a leadership role in the building. Um, and so that advocation for students will continue to fall on our social work team, will continue to fall on um, teachers, will continue to fall on um, EAs and uh, classroom support uh, individuals around the building. And the idea is that this equity and inclusion coordinator, sorry, it says equity coordinator there, it should say equity and inclusion coordinator. Um, this equity and inclusion coordinator would help support the teachers and social workers to do this work better. Questions we'd like you to consider. Um, these are some questions that we brainstormed and that I'm happy to uh, uh, take feedback on or other questions that you might have. Um, so as you watch this presentation, if you've taken a few minutes to watch it, what elements of this SWEC role would you prioritize moving forward, especially in the context of a role like, a, like the um, equity and inclusion coordinator role that we're proposing? If our proposal is still too big, how would you change it? If it still feels like the job is too broad to set someone up for success, what changes might you make to it to set someone up for success? And also, what generally do you want us to know about equity needs at Great River? I'm inviting anybody who has watched this presentation to respond uh, electronically to this presentation. Um, just hit reply to the email and give me your um, thoughts and questions. I will try to get back to you if there are questions as quickly as I can, um, but I'm not sure how many responses I will get. Um, but more importantly, I want your feedback as we consider what the next steps might look like and where we might be going with this role. Thank you so much for your time. I apologize again that this presentation, uh, that the original presentation didn't work out um, and that I had to re-record it, but uh, really appreciate you taking the time to view this presentation, and I look, look forward to hearing from you. Have a wonderful day.